Казаргы сабақты бастамас бұрын, сетеметегі слайдты ашып алыңыз. Now, let's uh, have a look at short answer questions, guys. Okay. Uh, in answer to the mission, you can also have some uh, short answer questions. They are very popular in reading and listening sections. Um, okay. They must appear in any listening section. There is no any restriction or exception. So, what are the short answer questions? They uh, like, of course, they have the word limit. It means you, step zero for you is to check the instruction. Use words that you have heard, yeah? So it means you have no, like, the list of the words and you should write the letters. No, there is nothing like that. You just write what you listen. Do not use, yeah, very, uh, very good rule both to IELTS and uh, not good, but important rule both to reading and IELTS uh, sections here. Be just careful of, just avoid using synonyms. Do not paraphrase your answer. Write the same word. Even if your synonym is right, your paraphrasing is in an appropriate manner, your answer will be considered as wrong, okay? And uh, yeah, don't forget to answer on the answer sheet. Uh -huh. Next, remember, uh, there is no point for answers that, um, on the question paper. They will check just your uh, answer sheet, that is all. And um, in listening at least, the answers are coming in the order, okay? They are coming in the order. Uh, so what is the strategy? Zero step, um, the step number zero. Read the instructions carefully. How many words you can write or how many numbers? Here, I want to tell you something. If there is written a number or a word, say, like, you can write, it means you can write, like, November 8th, yeah? But if it's certain number or a word, it means you write only one number or only one um, word. If it is written a word, one word only, it means you should just write a word or number only, so, okay? Next. <clears throat> Use your preparation time to underline the type of information you need and the keyword. Okay, uh, as we know in from IELTS reading section, type of information is uh, known, like it's understandable due to the question. Like if they are asking, what does James uh, like? What does James doing? For example, yeah, like the, your answer is type of activity he was doing, or okay, another uh, what shape is this building like so what shape you know the shape is maybe trapezoidal or rectangular or circle triangle anything uh, or it is writing like uh, how many rooms are there in the main building how many rooms look how many rooms is uh, like type of information you need you need to write the number of the rooms there is in the main building, not in everywhere, not in the uh, like other buildings, but in the main building, okay? Be careful. Uh, while you listen, listen for keywords or synonyms of this to help you. And uh, when you hear the answer, write it in, write down, it's directly in the gap. Don't just waste your time listening till the end, just write. Right, okay? And check the uh, spelling. It will be in the end when you have extra 10 minutes. Oh, what about the multiple choice questions? Okay. Uh, there are actually other types of also multiple choice questions, but so today we're going to talk about single answer multiple choice, where you have an answer and uh, like three choices, yeah, A, B, or C. Maybe sometimes there are four choices. Okay, and only one answer between them is right. So it's, it means A or B or C or D, okay? 
uh, sometimes there will be a question written or the sentence is not finished yet, okay? Like, for example, in like uh, the question number nine and 10 on this slide, they are just unfinished sentences. Like, and uh, yeah, like examiner, examiner will try to trick you by giving, like by saying the right word, but uh, be careful. Also synonyms and paraphrase can be used and in most cases they are the right answers, okay? Also, in the answer sheet, do not write the words you hear. Write the, num the name of the, like, the letter you hear, A or B or C. And uh, here, so my tip for you is to listen, like to, uh, of course, multiple choice cannot be done effectively, like fully without analyzing it before. So it means when you have extra preparation time, to check the your previous section, just look into this question type and underline the keywords. Like for example, number nine, what am I going to do? How I will tackle this question? Uh, when there is extra 30 seconds for me to check, I will go to this question, look at this. Type of insurance chosen, look here. Type of insurance, insurance, I will circle or underline this word. And here, three choices, economy, standard, premium. But in sometimes I also will, like, is like academic examination, sometimes there will be only one word. There can be sentences like economy because, um, I don't know, for example, the nation is falling or something, okay? Or standard, something, something, something. So, okay? So there can be whole sentences, not only one word. It means when there are whole sentences, you should read every single sentence and uh, understand their meaning, underline or circle, circle the keywords there, okay? Here, it's economy standard premium. That is all. When I am listening, I like take my pen and look at each of them because each answer choice will be spelled. Each answer choice will be spelled in that audio. And if you think like, I have heard economy somewhere, maybe it's the answer. No, don't uh, rush, okay? Uh, there is a whole uh, like nature of IELTS examination, actually. They will try to trick you in many ways, okay? Uh, maybe they can tell. So we were going to choose the economy, uh, but like we like found extra money to standard. However, they advised us that premium is better and we chose the premium. As you can see, uh, three of the economists, Chandler and premium, all of them are very salt, okay? And uh, like you, were, you may be thinking which, which one is right. So that's why you, what you are supposed to do is listen carefully, okay? And multiple answer, multiple choice when there are one question, but you can choose multiple letters. And the order you write is uh, not important. The important thing is to choose the right two letters, or three letters, or even four letters in some cases. Uh, in our uh, like example, look, I will read. Which two facilities at the leisure club have recently been improved? So, which two facilities? The gym, the tracks, the indoor pool, outdoor pool, sport for children. Okay, it means you can choose two of them. Hmm? And actually, all of them will be told, all of them will be spoken, but only two of them will, uh, but only two of them have been recently improved. Okay, here, recently and leisure club are your keywords. Not every curve that have been improved, but recently improved and in the leisure club, okay? So the strategy is the same. same. First, you read the instructions very carefully. After, read each question during the preparation time. Underline keywords and think of paraphrases. And while you listen, listen for keywords or synonyms. Check the answer, which has the same meaning as the listening, okay? And in this way, you can easily tackle both the multiple choice question and the multiple answer and multiple choice questions. Uh, so what I am also going to tell you is that, yeah, in multiple choice and multiple answer questions, 
uh, for example, let's imagine that a number uh, like B and D are right, like the tracks and the outer pool, and uh, um, there is no difference. There is like you can write firstly B after D, or you can write firstly D after B. So there is no difference. There, you won't be punished. Like it's not a mistake. Okay, so that is all. Use the strategy in your practices.